The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from South Carolina, weighing in at 400 pounds, the American Dream, Albert Thompson. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. is just way, way too aggressive. They need to do some breathing exercises or something. Unlock the inner peace. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Corey. You endorse anyone who brings a little animosity to the ring. Well, maybe sometimes I do, but this is too much. They should dial it back. Do some yoga. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. Now it's time to get extreme, extreme rules match underway. No disqualifications, no countouts. This is where we really get to see the violent creativity of superstars. Well, that's because sometimes a straight up wrestling match isn't enough, Cole. Sometimes you need a few accessories to incapacitate your opponent. Be it a kendo stick, a chair, or a table, the possibilities are endless. On the throat in the corner. Good timing with that reversal. Vicious right forearm. And a clothesline. A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. It's not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good point, Corey. Every day offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. Lands face first. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. Go. Boom! Face first! Shot to the back of the neck. He's looking a little off balance. Clubbing blows! Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Incoming. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Punishing their opponent. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Returning to the ring now. Oh, God, that hurt. Ooh, just one right after the other can't be stopped. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. Great 
reversal. Impressive amount of offense against him here. Yeah, it's to pull out some form of offense here. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. It's a hurry. Has them up. Nice way to walk. Take down. Holding on. How about another? Establishing complete control. the ring, slides underneath the ropes, back to the ring, he'll head to the ring, and finds a counter, he's showing it's not time for lying down, it's time for fighting back, stomping, ouch, just punched him right in the mouth, relentless, right in the face, my god, here we go, Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Ooh. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. <laughs> Trying to target the back of the neck here. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Taking things to another level, bringing out the ladder like this. Take it old school. Oh, oh, look out. Old school. Here he goes for the win. He breaks the ref's count before two. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. Takes their opponent down. Now just teeing off a series of hammer fists raining down. Setting up the ladder, guys. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, he's re entering the ring. Set it up for something here. Sent into the corner. Oh, stick up for crap. A running slap. 
That's just insulting. And he's soundly taking control here. He can't allow himself to let up now. Under the ladder! Talk about being a sitting duck. He's heading for higher ground! I can't look! Crafty way to get out of harm there. He returns to the ring. Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning Uranagi. Oh, no mercy behind that forearm. Forearm smash. These consecutive attacks have him reeling. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back is being negated. He just barely dodges. Slam! He wants even more out of his opponent. Expected that one.
to the sky. about to happen. The cervical clutch is cinched in. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap out? He's trying to hold on, but for how long? And he escapes the submission before things got more disaster. And reversed into a DDT. Stops the kick. Right cut. Look out. to inflict even more damage. Oh my God, not from up there. What on earth? Oh my God! Knockout victory. This one is over. 